Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today let's talk about the reign of the Cromwell family. Let's start with Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell was born in 1599 in Annington in a modest family. He was also an important military leader. Shortly after joining the army in 1642, he was awarded the title of head of the cavalry of the parliamentary army, and some time after, he became commander of the entire army. In 1620, he married Elizabeth Borchere, and from this union were born nine children, the best known of which are Henry and Richard Cromwell. After the execution of King Charles I in 1649, he was to a leading role in the ephemeral Commonwealth of England, conquering Ireland and Scotland. Oliver Cromwell nevertheless requests that the head of the former king be sent back to the body, so his family could pay him homage. In 1653, Oliver Cromwell ruled the United Kingdom. His family and himself having a strict Puritan faith, he decided to enforce Puritan religion and rules in his politics. And basically, art is a bit against religion, actually, so I saw, what if we close all the theatres? But it's for your own good, eh? He was the Lord Protector of the Commonwealth, which means he had more or less the same power as a monarch, but did not have a crown. In 1658, he died of malaria and was buried in Westminster. After his death, Henry Cromwell inherited the title of Lord Deputy of Ireland, and for Richard Cromwell, he succeeded his father as Lord Protector of the Commonwealth. Richard Cromwell, born in October 1626, is the third son of Oliver Cromwell. He recovered the title of his father and was proclaimed Lord Protector on January 1659. He renounces his function on May 25, the same year. In fact, General George Monk, Governor of Scotland, seeks to restore the monarchy. In February 1660, Monk and his army marched on London, and with popular support, forced Parliament to dissolve. In July of that year, Richard Cromwell preferred to go on exile to avoid the repercussion of the restoration. That's call of French leave! After the abdiction, General Monk recalled the Long Parliament, which offered the throne of England and Scotland to Charles II, this leading to the English Restoration. This marked the return of Charles II as a king from 1660 to 1685. The bishops were restored to Parliament, and they established a strict Anglican orthodoxy. Oliver Cromwell is then seen as a supreme sign of disgrace and Cromwell's women are exhumed and, after a symbolic execution by hanging and beheading, dispersed on January 1661. He was already dead and we hanged him. Isn't that okay? You never know. And Richard, he lived in France under a sea of assumed names before travelling to Europe. He returned in England, yes, in 1680 or 1681 and lived to an advanced age in Finchley, Middlesex, before dying. That's all for today, don't forget to subscribe and see you soon!